So how do we find the mass percents of potassium, chromium, and oxygen inside of potassium dichromate? Well, first we got to find the total mass of the compound, and then we can find those percents. Take a look. Bam. So the first thing is I want to write down the elements we see. So we see potassium, we see chromium, and we see oxygen. Next is then to write down the number of atoms, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So we have two atoms of potassium, two atoms of chromium, and seven atoms of oxygen. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of that particular element. <clears throat> the mass is found on the table, so here you go. Potassium is 39.1, chromium is 52, and oxygen is 16. So those are the masses we are going to write down. So potassium was 39, 39.10, chromium is 52, and then oxygen was going to be 16. Easy enough. Then we're going to now multiply the row on across to find the total mass of the element. All right, so the total mass of potassium here is going to be 78.20. Total mass of chromium is going to be 104. And then the total mass of oxygen will be 112. 112. Now, to find the total mass of the entire compound, all we simply got to do is add up this entire column together. Uh, together right? So 294, 294.20. And there it is, right? That's the first step of the process to find that total mass. Now that I found the total mass, I'm going to add a column to the table. We'll calculate the percentages. Bam. So to find the mass percent of potassium, we're simply going to take the total mass of that potassium. So we got 78.20. And we're going to divide it by then the total mass of the entire compound of 294.20. And we're going to multiply that by 100. All right? This is simple percent calculation. Part over whole times 100. And the percentage here is going to work out to be roughly about 26.58. 0.58%. And that's it for potassium. Then we got chromium. So we take the total mass of the chromium, 104, divided by the 294.20. Right, you notice the pattern now. The structure makes it nice and easy here, the table that is. So 35.35%. All right, last but not least, we're going to do the same thing for auction. Take the total mass of the auction, 112, divided by then the total mass of the entire compound, 294.20, multiplied by 100. See how redundant this gets over time? And that's a good thing, because that means you're practicing enough. So 38.07. When you add these percentages up, which you should do just to check yourself, they should add up to be 100%. If you're off by 100, it might be because of the rounding, but uh, you, know, you should be uh, within the ballpark. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. That's how you find the percent of potassium, chromium, and oxygen inside of potassium dichromate. And check out our channel. We've got thousands of other videos out there. Math, physics, chemistry. We've got biology coming whole bunch of other stuff, and I love to help you out with more. All right? See you soon.